All right, what are we doing today? Well, today I think we're gonna go uh, framing in our sink. So we'll, uh, we'll get that rough cut and set our sink in here. And uh, yeah, I have a water faucet uh, on uh, order. It should be here next week sometime, I hope. Uh, and I'm going to go with just a uh, single cold water only faucet hooked to a pump, water tank, and uh, well, that's what we're going to use. Uh, no hot water. If I want it, I'll boil it. Right? So we have a stainless steel sink which we're going to use. Voila! And uh, that's, I think, in, is in the position where I want it. We're going to keep it from the edge a little bit because I want the drain as far over this way from the cabinet because we want to be able to put our, uh, our, uh, water container here and that way we'll be able to to drain into our tank and then our fresh water will go under here I believe maybe with the pump I'm not sure if I want to put the pump there or if I'm going to put it behind uh, the, the microwave up under here but uh, most likely it's going to be back here next to the uh, the drainage tank and voila we'll be good to go cool well, that's where our sink is going to sit, so let's go ahead and get started, and uh, we will get that cut in. We're going to begin by making a template. So uh, I'm going to be using some cardboard as a template to make sure that I get the right shape, because I don't want to cut an oversized hole, uh, and I don't want to make it so tight that I can't get the, uh, the sink in. So we're just going to make a... Uh, quick template uh, of the shape of the of the sink and then we will uh, make sure that we have a couple of holes uh, on each side that's how we're going to attach it from under the uh, under the counter there's some uh, little u-shaped looking adapters with wing nuts on it that we'll be installing on there and that'll fasten it to the bottom of the of the countertop uh, so that's what we're going to do now is go ahead and get our template made then we'll take off our countertop position where we want it, um, make a, uh, take our template and use a piece of wood, we'll cut that shape out on there, we'll fasten it to the bottom of the countertop, and then we'll take a router and we're going to cut that so it's nice and clean. But before we do that, let me show you what I did yesterday. In the meantime, uh, the projects are going to seem like they're getting few and far between other than just the sink. So it's just a few things that we're, that we're doing to kind of make sure everything is, is tight and sealed and, and whatnot. I had uh, went around and placed all new wire clamps around my wires. Some of the clamps were too small. Some of the wires weren't going through them. So I made sure then uh, replace all the wire clamps uh, from, from our solar all the way around under the cabinet to the batteries. And to the front. So let me show you what I did. First thing is on the outside of the door there's a trim that went around that covered all the screw heads uh, from top to bottom and then there was this cap which has a drip rail around it and I uh, place this on it just basically clamps into place take a little mallet and uh, make sure it's tapped in locks in around under the edge here and then I set the uh, drip rail in place, went ahead and drilled through this piece, this piece, fastened those together, and then there's a couple of screws on the top that uh, holds that in place. So that was the first thing I did. Make sure that that is sealed. No water gets into our screw heads. I'm not worried about it leaking, but um, don't want it to leak. The second thing I did, and I think this is pretty cool, is underneath is I used um, Eternabon and I bought the black. It's two inch by 50 feet and uh, went down the whole length of the trailer front and back. That uh, and What I wanted to do here is the edge of the trailer comes around underneath here and then you you staple that to the bottom of the trailer through the wood. So I just had a 
handful of staples plus there's a gap between the uh, aluminum and the wood so I wanted to make sure and have that sealed but I didn't want to use silicone because eventually that would fall out and as you're traveling down the road if it's raining or something that water can wash right up underneath and get in there and begin to rot your wood so I used a turnabond to seal the underneath here and uh, that stuff is it's just good stuff. I like it. So I did that all the way around. Even on the front under here. All the way across. So that's going to work out just great. Cool. So here's how we're going to make our template. I have a... Uh, piece of cardboard actually it's a, a, a matting that I was going to use on one of my uh, pictures but uh, I'm not going to so I have a piece of cardboard I've got my sink setting on top and I also have a pair of dividers if you don't have a pair of dividers you can make a set or you know use a piece of wood and just make sure and put a pencil on the one side of the other where and make sure you got your how far apart you want them spread other than that um, I just happen to have these so I'm going to use it. So when you are going to make a template what you don't want to do is you don't want to start here and then follow the curve around like this because basically it takes this size of corner and makes it much larger. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, dividers we're going to make it parallel with this side we're going to come up and then we're going to scribe around and keep it parallel just like this. So at all, at all, at all times, it's going to be perpendicular to the face of this sink right here. So let me set that up, and I'll show you what I mean. So I took a spread of uh, the dividers here, probably about four or five inches, and uh, made sure that my the edge of my cardboard is uh, at least the width of that divider. So I'm going to start probably here in the center. Doesn't matter where you start, as long as you keep, as long as you keep the dividers perpendicular with the face of this edge here. So we're going to uh, take this and we're going to just scribe along like this. It's going to come around the edge. Okay. We'll do the same to this side. Now all we have to do is cut that out and see how well it fits. Okay, so my template is pretty much done around the edge of the uh, sink. So I cut two side pieces, two end pieces, taped those together, and then I took some smaller pieces and I butt up against the corners and taped those down because I want tight as radius as I can get. <coughs> I don't want to leave too much of a gap around the sink, and uh, we'll call that good. So that worked out really well. All right, now we'll transfer this template onto a little bit bigger piece of cardboard before I transfer that to a piece of plywood to cut out. I just want to make sure that we have a good fit and uh, we also have to have our, our holes for our corner. So that's our next step. All right, so our template fits around here just right. And then uh, basically all I did, let's see, where's my pencil? took my pencil, laid it up here at the edge. Now I'm going to scribe around and I will make a relief around the template. That way uh, the sink has just a little bit of movement in it. And then I've made my marks for my holes to mount the sink with. 
So the next step is to go ahead and cut out this relief. We'll go ahead and uh, cut out our holes for our uh, mounting holes. And then we'll transfer that to a piece of plywood and then we can attach that to the bottom of the counter, take a router and cut that out and set our sink in place. Voila! Alright, so we've got our template. Punched our holes around the edge here. Took that right over there and marked our plywood. And so now, basically all we have to do is drill a hole, take a jigsaw, cut that out, and then uh, probably trim around the edge just a little bit, get my proper distance, and then we can transfer that to our countertop, put our sink in. So it got a little dark outside to uh, video what I did, but we do have uh, our sink cut out and in, and uh, a little bit of a mess to clean up in here. So let's go in the uh, camper and show you the sink. All right, so we have the sink installed in the countertop and uh, just about where I wanted it. I would like to have it a little bit closer to the edge, but I have I have a piece of inch and a half that's running across here and I needed to clamp these down. So it is what it is. My faucet will go back here and uh, I think it's going to work just great. I ended up having to make a rectangular hole instead of the radius corners because I didn't compensate for the, uh, the corners where the uh, clamps go. So just like the old adage says, measure twice, cut once. And that's uh, what I did. So I followed my own rules. Whew, glad I did. I'd have been frustrated had I uh, took all that time and rounded the corners only to find out it wouldn't set in there. So we, uh, we have a sink installed in the countertop or at least setting in place. So the next thing to do is obviously to clamp these in and I'll put uh, I'll put some putty around the, the bottom and uh, press that in and clamp those. Then we'll worry about the drain and get a tank in here. So I am where I wanted to be. My drain's gonna be on this side and that'll leave me uh, a good size fresh water tank on this side, actually a holding tank for the drain, and then uh, I can do the holding tank underneath the uh, bench seat over here. So there we go, we have a sink. So we're coming along, uh, before too long we will be finished, and uh, there's a few things I still want to do, and uh, before I'm ready to go camping in this, uh, it's technically ready to go now. Uh, if I wanted to go real dry, but um, we're, we're getting there. So some of the things I still need to do is uh, still install this curtain over here. I want to go back and make a few adjustments on the curtains that I have hanging so I can make sure everything's uh, nice and tight and uh, looks good. And then uh, one of the things that I have been thinking about is my solar. So my charge controller. I think I'm going to relocate that and uh, let me show you what I have in mind. So currently the charge controller is under the table. It's it's up against the wall in the back and uh, it's out of the way and it's not a big deal um, but if I want to check the numbers I have to go down and take a look. There's no backlighting on the controller so it's difficult to see unless you have a, another light to assist in, in getting a, a visual on it. So. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is relocate this charger up against this wall right here. I also purchased, which is on its way, uh, an MT50 controller which plugs into this charge controller and it'll also have a, a screen that I'll be able to see a few more functions and uh, be able to see what, what's going on with the batteries and the uh, solar panels. I'll hide the wires behind uh, some tracking uh, against the wall and I'm not too concerned about what it what it will really look like uh, but I think it'll be okay and I also am going to do a little rewiring in the back uh, with some inline fuses and I'll tell you why when I get the parts and we get ready to install that so 
there we are. We have the sink. We have the faucet, which is on its way. I have parts for the controller on the way. We're going to relocate the, the controller. We are also going to get rid of this curtain and install one like this one. And then we will make a few adjustments to these to make sure that uh, they're right where I want them. And then after that, I'm not sure yet. Winter time is coming and I will probably purchase a cover and cover this thing for the winter. Um, occasionally come out here and get a few things done, hopefully. I do have a little portable heater which keeps, a, keeps it nice and toasty in here. It's probably about 38 degrees outside and it's probably about 70, 72 in here so it's nice and it just comes on and off intermittently which lets me know that the uh, the camper is well insulated and uh, doing what it should be doing so before I go I, I do want to say thank you for uh, following along and watching the videos of building the uh, camper from the ground up and thank you to all those who have subscribed and uh, actually look forward to some of these videos and thank you for the comments and uh, I think one of the videos I'll have in the future is uh, answering some of the questions people have asked along the way uh, why I did what I did or why I didn't do something I should have or uh, some amenities that they thought would really go well in here but uh, we'll answer those in the future videos and uh, like always, um, thank you. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, stay tuned.